Hello everybody. I am going to make ice cream today. And I've already got it mixed. We're making peach ice cream. Uh, you probably can't see it, but. And hopefully I'm gonna learn from my last mistake, which I have not aired and I probably won't air. And that is, I learned a very valuable lesson. Do not try to mix your ice cream outside on concrete that have been in the sun all day long. Because it'll take all day long for it to actually work. making this ice cream for our friends at the assisted living facility down the road. Hopefully, we can get all of this done with this partial bag of ice, because the last time we couldn't. Basically, we need to get this, get some water in here, which that's going to happen with the salt and the ice. And I think it's going to freeze fairly quickly. Now, what happened last time was we had had this directly on the concrete. Well, it had been 90 degrees the whole day. Even though it was now shaded, uh, it kept absorbing the heat, and there is no insulation barrier between the bottom of the ice cream bucket and, and the concrete. So every time we'd move it or somebody else would keep going, and it took quite a while. I think it took us over an hour and a half. And once we put it on a bucket, it actually went really quick. It was crystallizing. It just was melting as fast as it was freezing. in here.
And now, because I don't want to be cranking the whole time, we're going to see if we can take this off. And we'll put Mr. DeWalt on. feeling stiff. I don't think it's possible it's ready yet, but but I'm going to take a look at it. Oh my goodness. It is done. Look at that. It's already done. We filled it two-thirds to the top. Wow. Okay. Well, that was the key. That is impressive, actually. How do I put this back together? Okay, I'll put the lid on first. Okay, because I've got another thing of ice cream to do, too. So I guess in just a few minutes you can have it made. I don't even have hardly any ice in there yet because I used a partial bag. that out. Pour the rest of this in. Oh, crap. See how long it takes to do the second batch. So I guess technique really matters on making ice cream.
can automate this more if you use on a zip tie. Then I can keep it at a consistent speed, which it's about done anyway. Maybe that wasn't smart. Um, okay. Do it one click at a time. Okay, will this work? Okay. That's a pretty good speed. So one more click. Now, While you're waiting on the ice cream to finish, you gotta play your guitar. While my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when the skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, why did it quit? Because it's probably done. Let's check. Okay, you guys come right up here and look. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is just perfect. Okay, we're gonna add this to our other ice cream. You know, you know on those hot sunny days, or even when it's rainy after it just did this today, uh, right after church, make yourself some ice cream, share it with your neighbors. I'm gonna put in there the uh, recipe I use on this batch. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. Good. Now I made this after church today. So it hasn't sat in the freezer for a real long time. Oh, it's best when it, just when it goes right out of that. The, you know, the freezer you make with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, Helen. You know what? You just keep playing. I won't, I won't even bother getting my guitar out. But that was a that was a one pe uh, two peaches, two and a half peaches or so. That was only two. The I started thing. Yeah. yeah, I probably could have done more. I hope you're loud. Oh, I didn't even notice. Sorry. Right, you're going to have to apart. Okay. You're coming apart anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, page 42 at Calvary. 
Trousers the clouds wear. They wear thunderpants. <laughs> oh no, this is a bad one. I, I, I can't do that one. <laughs> you, you guys hear the rumor uh, that's going around about butter? <laughs> Never mind, I shouldn't spread it. <laughs> uh, I give up. <laughs> Well, man dies and goes to heaven. St. Peter meets him at the pearly gates. St. Peter says, here's how it works. You need a hundred points to get into heaven. You tell me, so you tell me all the good things that you've done, and I will give you a certain number of points for each item, depending on how good it was. And when you reach a hundred points, you get into heaven. Okay, says the man. Well, I was married to the same woman for 50 years and never cheated on her once. Well, that's wonderful, said St. Peter. That's worth three points. Three points? What? Okay, well, uh, all right. I attended church my whole life and I supported the ministry with my you know, service and my finances. Terrific, says St. Peter. That's worth one point. One point? Oh. Okay, okay. Well, how about this? I started a soup kitchen in my town, and I worked in a shelter for homeless veterans. Oh, that's fantastic, says St. Peter. That's worth two more points. Two points? cries the man. At this rate, the only way I'll ever get into heaven is by the grace of God. You got it, says St. Peter. Come on in. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
special mix to Madonna. She buys a container of Bowman and then puts the beans in. Kombucha, yogurt, everything. Did she make moonshine? <laughs> uh, that's my department. <laughs> You're not going to ask me to bring you in moonshine, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> Besides, that's just for my lawnmower. That's what I use for my YouTube channel. Oh. Bye, Ray. Bye, Grace. Have a great week. Thank you. You too. I'm working on it right now. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, every 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 time you know we have the have the service thing, you know. I, I stop, I stopped thinking all the stupid things I did as a kid. Yeah. That I wish I did I I wish I hadn't have done. You know, I think I think we all have those regrets somewhat. I don't think you're unique on that.